Yeah, hey everybody, it's Brian with you from the GameCom, and we are starting another brand new series in Civilization VI. So we are down to three civs we have yet to play as before Gathering Storm, and that was Germany, that was Gandhi, and that was Wilhelmina as Netherlands, who we will be playing as today. And what's funny is tonight we're going to be doing a live stream, this is Tuesday, so we're going to be doing a live stream as Nuclear Gandhi, which means Germany is actually going to be the last civ uh, for us to play as. And we want to get through it before Gathering Storm, and I wanted to do a YouTube series series with Germany even though I could probably just live stream it because I'm sure Gandhi will end up finishing this week because we've been going through about one a week um, but I, I do want to do a YouTube series with Germany so that'll probably be a second series we'll start here closer to the first of February because uh, most of my games tend to take like 14 episodes on the small map uh, like 13 14 episodes so that would put us like right on time so we'll see how quickly we can get through Netherlands so uh, anyways mods we're using CQUI let's get rid of official content we are using the uh, quick start we are using the show yield icons we're using yet another map pack so same maps as always or same mods as always if you want to play along they are in the description below we're gonna go ahead and create and we're gonna go Wilhelmina and I was debating about what map type to do here so um, I think we're gonna do continents but I was debating about potentially doing archipelago because I would like to be on the coast I would like to start on the coast because her polder improvement you can do it either on the coast or lake tiles and um Basically, it needs to have three land tiles adjacent to it, and then you can build the improvement. So, this is going to be a lot easier to build if we were on Archipelago. The problem is she gets the uh, major adjacent bonuses for Campus Theater Square Industrial Zones if next to a river. And it seems... Well, it seems more likely for us to see rivers in continents. So, I think because of that, we're going to roll with continents. And I think I might even bump up... I kind of like doing New World Age... Nah, let's just leave everything standard. Let's just leave everything standard. Let's not screw with it. And I think we're good to go. So let's go ahead and start in the game. So I'm kind of looking for a little bit of cultural, um, how should I say this, vengeance after our India campaign. So uh, what's our abilities? Number one, our trade routes to your own cities get plus one loyalty per turn, which is nice. So if you settle a city that has a little bit of loyalty issue, you can just send a bunch of trade routes from it. And then also trade routes to foreign cities or from foreign cities gives plus one culture to you. So... This is probably a better reason also to have continents is because we're more likely to have neighbors to begin with and we can trade with them and hopefully they will trade with us and then we're going to get a bunch of culture early game because of that. We also get major, uh, major adjacency bonuses for campus, theater square, and industrial zones if next to a river and then we culture bomb adjacent tiles when completing a harbor which I mean I highly doubt we're going to steal anyone's territory by completing a harbor but you know maybe 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 so we really want to be on the coast. What if we don't end up on the coast? Uh, who knows. All right, that's probably close enough. Um, ah, dang it. I really wish we were on the water, though. I'm wondering if it's worth it to say, screw it, and actually go to the water. But this is Plains Hills. Because I was also looking at potentially the olives. And this is coast. It does say coast. It does say coast. Is that true? Who knows? We actually found the other coast over here. Hmm, okay. Let's look at the rest of her abilities before we get too far in. So then we got the Netherlands. And then her special unit is, and I think someone mentioned that this is uh, stands for the seven provinces, is uh, what it means in English. But anyways, it's her unique renaissance unit, plus seven combat strength when attacking defensible districts. So it's going to be really good to conquer city centers. And then last but not least, the polder. gets plus one food, plus one production, plus 0.5 housing, plus one food if adjacent to another polder. Additional production, food, or gold AI as you advance through civics and technology and then you must be adjacent to three or more land tiles and increase movement coast of tile to three which is nice so I'm assuming I can't replace crabs right it's a bonus resource so I should be able to harvest it and then I can build the polder or could I just build the polder on top of it I don't no. But anyways, so what's going to happen is we're going to be able to get one food, one production, plus housing right here. So this is going to be a 2 one, one which is okay. It's not a great tile. Um, but it's going to be pretty decent as the time progresses. And we get additional, what is it, being next to another polder? Additional food if next to another polder. Now, I don't know about this tile right here. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to put a polder there. But we should be able to put a polder there. We definitely want double polders, though. We definitely want the double polder. Hmm... So we have the coffee here. We're also going to want to put a city over here. And now this is what's interesting is normally I would want like the city here and put the harbor here, but we'll actually want the polder there. So we'll instead we'll rather have the harbor here. Also kind of depends on the sea resources over here where we'll want that city. But I definitely think we should stay on the river because of all the bonuses. The question is maybe we go all the way up here to the coffee. 
But if we went all the way to the coffee, we're not going to get the bonuses. So this would become a uh, 2 one, one This one's going to be a 2 one, one This one's going to stay a 2-2. Two, two. We're going to lose one extra gold. I think we're just going to sit on the plains hill. I think we're just going to sit on the plains hill. And I think we're actually going to go for a religion, because culture game with a religion is a lot easier than culture game without a religion. But either way, we'll do scout. We'll see what happens. Um, I am going to build a bunch of units, because I don't want to get ward on early. We are going to want to... Um, um, put as much power out there as possible just to keep the AI from declaring on us. So yeah, city here probably, because we'll want the harbor there. So we'll put a city here, and then that's going to be a nice little polder, and then you're going to become the nice little harbor. That's going to be a plus four harbor, which can't complain about. There might actually be maybe here instead. We'll have to see how the desert tile looks. Um... And we'll end up probably just jumping our theater square. Like, if we did put it there, we'll have to buy out here and put the theater square there or something like that. Although, honestly, this tile will probably uh, be inside Amsterdam long before that happens. Oh, Calista Dover. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. So we're not going to be able to settle over here. We could settle there in the desert. And then we could put a plus five harbor here. We'd also have the Calista Dover. Although the downside is one, two, three, four. We wouldn't be able to get... The polder. <laughs> but how important is the polder? It's not like it's giving us culture. It just basically makes the tile a little more usable. What's crazy is once we get seaports, we're going to get plus two gold on all close tiles as well. And then doesn't, um, isn't the shipyard, doesn't one of these give you, um, food as well? No. Was it the lighthouse? I thought one of them also gives food. Yeah, plus one food for all, uh, tiles. So we're going to get... So eventually, this is going to be, what, plus three gold, plus one food, plus then the polder bonuses. Like, that's going to be crazy. Yeah, that's going to be some crazy tiles. That's almost as nice as the uh, Kapongs from um, Indonesia. Now, the thing with the Kapongs is those get crazy production, which is why, honestly, in my opinion, they're probably the best pr uh, uh, production, the best uh, improvement in the game. But anyways, Astrology is coming out now in ten turns. We don't actually need the Scout anymore. But we are almost there, so we might as well finish it. And we'll go grab you. I'll send the scout that way. And then we'll probably just start popping out builders, warriors, and stuff like that. Well, here's the question. We're down to eight turns. You know what? Screw this. I think I'm going to grab the warrior. We'll keep the scout. I'd rather have a second warrior up when we start building the holy site. And we'll probably want to put the holy site here or here. Because I don't really want to rip up any of those resources early on. We'll want to work those, actually. You go here. We met Lisbon. Okay, that's extra gold. I'm fine with that. That's extra two gold in our capital right away. I'm digging that. We're also the first one to meet them. So, I'm okay being on an island on ourselves, especially this island. It seems a heck of a lot crappier or less crappy than the island we started on as India. So, Also, this is going to finish in plenty of time because we're about to grow our population. What are you working right now? The 211? Uh, yeah. I think I'd rather work the 2-2 two, two right now. Uh-huh. We probably should have bought that tile a little while ago, but okay. Lots of improvements. Lots of resources over here. Uh, what does our settler map mode look like? So we can definitely still settle over here. We can definitely get a nice little polder there. I really... I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to debate between these two. The other option is we could put a city here. And then just put the harbor there, but it would be a plus three. I'd rather just put the harbor there. We'll see how this works. I mean, one extra gold isn't necessarily worth it if it really doesn't offer us much. And we're going to probably want to put as many cities out as possible. We'll see. So, yeah, that's done to four turns. We might actually be able to finish the scout, too, before. Eh, I don't like that. Well, we're going to go kill you right away. Luckily, you spawned right next to us, so. We don't know where the other barbarian encampment was, the one that spawned. Like, there should probably be one up there as well. But, all right, let's go kill you. Uh, Code of Laws is five turns. We'll just go and heal. We'll go and heal. We want to kill you before... Oh, that works. That actually works quite well for us. Um, you think they could take it? Here's the thing. If I hit him, they will definitely be able to take it. And I don't want them to be able to take it. They might still be able to take it because the Slinger is probably going to do quite a bit of damage in the Warrior. But the Warrior is crossing uh, a river. So probably 50-50 right now. Good, 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 good. We got really lucky. He, he ended up with one HP. So we got really lucky on our rolls then. Thank you. I wanted that 30 gold. That was important. 
and I will just send you up here to go explore. You got one turn. Perfect timings, man. Perfect freaking timings. I love it when it works out. I love it when it works out like that. So we never found that settler or the scout, but whatever. Or uh, yeah, the uh, barbarian scout. Okay, you can go over this way, and this island looks a little bit bigger than I was thinking at first, so probably fine. Now, we want to throw down this holy site as quick as possible. It's only going to be a plus one, which sucks, but whatever, whatever. It's not like we have forest around here. It's mostly rainforest bias for some reason. Sounds good. And let's go straight for archery because we want as much power as possible here. Yeah, that's fine. You can just keep hitting that. Got a nice little holy site over here, potentially. Ooh, okay. Did not expect the map to go that way. Mm, nah, I need to skip there. I need to skip there. We can heal, but it won't heal this turn. And you're just going to suicide into my Amsterdam again. Cool. Really, I want to see if there was a resource here. There is, but unfortunately, it's there. Um, so definitely a polder improvement here. Polder improvement here. It seems to be about it right now. Nice. Nice. All right, let's keep you there. And then let's bring you around over here. Ooh, snap. Okay, so there's either a city-state here or another player. Chances are it's another player. Government, give me the combat strength and the fighting barbarians. Give me the faith, please. Thank you. And we're going to go for trade routes right away. And remember, we want to be as friendly as possible. Hopefully, we can get this holy site done. Um, no one's getting that yet, so we're good. We're working the 2-2. We want to get a builder. We'd like to buy a builder. Unfortunately, we just don't have the money right now. Nice. Um, I don't know how I feel about Norway being right next to us. That's a problem. Uh, we want to go back here and turn on audio. Your grace. Your grace. Hi. He should like us a little bit better because we just took out the, sea, uh, the barbarian. Problem is, he likes people that have navies. I'm probably 50-50 in getting him to friend us up. Um, our big issue right now is we didn't spawn on the coast. We settled off the coast, so it's going to be hard for us to get out galleys here fairly early on. And so he's going to start disrespecting us because of that. But we'll see. Hopefully killing all these barbarians is going to make him like me. Thank you for doing that, because this could hurt. That would have hurt a lot worse if he was not there. So, <laughs> And we're going to go take that while he's distracted. Boom. You keep killing. You come over here. Let's get as much explored as possible. So, loyalty right now. This is not his capital. This is one of his second or third cities. So we kind of want to get a city over here. Maybe like somewhere in here. And then just give him the rest of the territory like here. So we can't do Polder there. We can definitely do Polder here. We can do Polder here, here, there, there. Essentially, this is the only one we can't do it on. And we could do... Maybe not there. Maybe, maybe not. So as soon as we finish this holy site... We kind of need more units. Because we want to discourage him from warring us. But we also would very much like a second city. Really? Experience? It's like the worst one. Give me, um... I doubt there's going to be any alpine. Give me the woods and the terrain, though. Because there's a lot of woods right now. It's a pretty decent start. I don't want to lose this. So, I think we got to be safe here. And we might have to surrender this territory over here to him. We might have to. This is an interesting continent, man. I, I kind of dig it. I really do. So you're size three. Nice. You, I don't know. Here's the problem. I think I need a level on the off chance that it gives us XP. I wanted to go take it and then level up, but there's a chance this gives us XP. And if it did, then I don't think he would get any additional XP because uh, he was already uh, at the level cap. Or he's already, like, capped to level. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Give me a free freaking builder, man. Give me a free settler. That's what I want. But I'm pretty sure there isn't one in the game. I don't think no they do that. In Plus population. I'm okay die, with that as well. That gives me... And there's my builder. Nice. Nice. And we can do farms right now. So we can get our three... We can get boosted pretty easily here for our three tiles. Um, we would like mining, though, here pretty quick. Um, I'm going to switch over to mining. You know what? I think let's go irrigation right away. 
Because we could grab the olives. And that would be very helpful. Because we could trade those over to Norway. Make some money. Get a, a, a get some buildings. Get something done. This curves around on itself. So this is just a giant freaking lake then. Okay then. Lots of polders. Unfortunately, galleys are going to be worthless. <laughs> okay then. I still think maybe we put the city here. Versus, and I think we do one here. Okay, this is the problem. We want the second city to cut him off. But if I go over here, I'm not going to cut him off. Like, honestly, this is a great spot for a second city. This is going to be a 2-2. It's going to have a 1-3 to work right away. We'll, we got some nice polders. We got a pretty decent harbor. We'll have an okay harbor. Um, yeah, that just seems so much better. See, we'll put the harbor here because we got another polder there, polder there. One of those two. Yeah, I like that. The downside is we want to forward settle Norway just a bit. But I really need to get... I really need to get some galleys up so he likes us. We also really want to get some warriors up. Hello. Where was that? That actually... Sp Terrible freaking spot. Terrible freaking spot. Dang it, game. Dang it, game. There's another one over here. We saw. Sorry. Bump the mic. <sighs> So, we got two options. We could come, like, over here. Or we could come all the way down here. It might be better, maybe, to go all the way down here, because anything in here, then, would get pressured from both of it. Yeah, I think that might be our goal. Somewhere down here. So, what do we want? I think we have to get the settler up. 320. I really want that shrine. We could buy the shrine. Ooh. That's bad. That is bad. We're not going to get a religion. Mm -mm. It doesn't look like we're going to get the religion. These guys are all plus ones, so we'd almost have to buy that shrine. If we buy the shrine, we can't buy a warrior. Awkward. Yeah, this is definitely a little awkward. The shrine at plus two. Here's the problem. So that means we are the four sieve going for it. Really what we have to hope for is one of these three sieves gets Stonehenge. Because there's only four religions. There's only going to be four religions because we're playing a small map. So we basically have to hope one of those three that are currently, uh, that build a holy site, uh, are actually building Stonehenge and going to finish Stonehenge. That's about our only hope at this point. You can come down. Would I rather work on... I'm going to put you here in the olives, and we're just going to leave you here for the olives. I kind of almost want to go explore there a little bit, too. Could we? Yeah, I mean, Lisbon should protect this. This should be opened. Yeah, it should be safe. It should be safe. It should be safe. Uh, hi, city. Yeah, hello. I immediately see this as a city right here. Uh, because we got a nice little harbor there. This is just uh, regular planes, unfortunately. Um, we don't want to settle on the, our one mine potential over there. We got another mine potential over here. Yeah, I like this one. That'll be pretty decent. Also, double turtles, always good. This might be where we throw our next city down. Yep, 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 yep. So you're here. You can go here and then probably there, and we'll be safe. Um, you're good to attack this turn. How many barbarian encampments are we going to end up killing in this game? <laughs> Seriously, this is like four or five. Uh, we do have to worry about that scout that's over there, but I'm not super worried. Because there's a chance the scout could have gone this way. There's 101 different locations the scout could have gone. I think I'm going to go up here. Because, like I said, I'm trying to cut that scout off. So, you go here, and then we're basically going to put you right there. And that should give you enough vision to see the rest of this. Okay, this is basically everything down here. Or at least our scout will see the rest of it. You are good to attack. It's going to be another 30 gold, which is going to put us at 260, which isn't enough for the shrine yet. Uh, we are in fourth place. That shrine's going to give us plus two, so we'll end up making a little bit more per turn. Yeah, there's the rest of our vision. And we just basically don't have vision on that tile. 
Okay. I'm probably going to put you here, heal you up, just to keep the scout from going that direction. Like, heal up a bit, and then we'll go kill. Because you need a little bit of HP. And you can come over here. Hey, Netherlands, I will, or Norway, I'd like to be your friend, please. All right, there's your HP, or there's your money. 272, now we have enough for the shrine. Okay, so now we're at plus two per turn, which is the same as Norway. Um, We are... Pull one, two, dang. So these are where the religions are right now. I just spent all my money. <laughs> Every time! Every time we spend all of our money, then they're like, oh, hey, here's someone. Ah, oh, my God. Also, is this Babylon? And it's a city state, definitely. And it's not going to live for long, that's for sure. Not with Norway right there. Okay. Hi, let's be friends. I really want this. I really want this, but there's no way for us to trade that. What if we did... For... Th Oh, no, no, no. I want one. I was like, what? How is one giving us that much gold? Can we get uh, 20, 30 gold? 25. 20. 18. Are you kidding? 10 gold. We bumped this up to two. What would we make? 50? 40? I don't think this is worth it. So we can basically trade 60 gold for 30 gold right away. What are the odds she's right next to us? I don't think she will be. We are building up faith. I think, I think we're just gonna roll with the unfortunate she doesn't like me. Yeah. Hello, Stockholm. Stockholm's good for us. Hi. We still don't have enough for a delegation. You know what would be great? Is if we had irrigation. That would be great. Oh well. I'm gonna go here. Just to be a little more protected. Even though we can see. And we'd be able to see if he had the scout. You're both healing up. So it's gonna take a little bit of time. Looks like Stockholm's already following. Really dude? It's like turn freaking three man. Come on. Clay must feel happy in the good potter's hand. We'll go into Stockholm. Yeah, it kind of looks like you're at war. Can't tell. No, you're not. Hmm, interesting. I really want to see... Oh, Norway's right here. Dang. Okay, that's awkward. Means we might actually want a city here instead. Yeah, we might want to put our next city up here on the river. Because we're going to have loyalty issues otherwise. Alright, well, we got four turns on that. Um, I think Norway and us are going to be buds. I think we're going to be able to be buds. I'm a little uh, unhappy that he's taking out Stockholm right away. I think I'm going to stay here for just a turn. Mostly because I want him to do these attacks across the river, which is probably going to end up happening. Well, it looks like it's definitely happening. You're being triggered. I think you're the guy that died from up there. So, And then you're going to come over here. And let's go take you out. Now, you're up on the hill, which is a little unfortunate. So it's going to take... Uh, well, it's going to do a lot of damage, but... Alright, and you just stay there for another turn. You're going to suicide into my turn, uh, into my town. No, you're not. You're going to run back up there. Okay, well, we got our Pantheon. Uh, we want fishing boats. We want fishing boats. What would be our other option? Potentially chops, pastures. I don't think we have that many pastures. Nah, nah. Uh, where's my fishing boats? We could also do Divine Spark just to guarantee our religion. All right, one of these four did end up building Stonehenge. Okay, so one of those four ended up building Stonehenge. So right now, we are definitely probably going to get that religion. <laughs> We're definitely probably going to get that religion, uh, he says, for like the 15th time. Oi, 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 oi. Um, production for mines, uh, from fishing boats. Got to the sea. I mean, uh, there's just so many sea tiles right here. It's just, it's so good. It's so good. I'm, I'm going to grab it. It's so good for us right now. Uh, you're good to go here and wait for the five turns. You did attack, and we are boxing in. I should have gone here. Yeah, make it a little less likely for him to take it. I mean, honestly, I don't want him to be able to take it, so. 
Alright, we got a promotion. That's going to make this guy die really quickly. Are you going to attack me? You are? Nice. Perfect. You're going to get promoted. And now this guy's just going to get absolutely destroyed. Stockholm is going to fall no matter what. So let's just keep going. We delayed. Uh, hi, I know it's really late, but we tried. <laughs> we tried. We tried. Okay, you need four more turns. Let's go. So, I think we're off to an okay start. It really comes down to the fact that there's no loyalty pressure here. And that's nice. And that's nice. And the fact that we can settle right here on the coast is awesome. And we could actually put a harbor here and culture bomb. <laughs> you know that thing that we said was probably not going to um, need to happen? Well, it's going to totally happen. Alright, we're going to be able to get a trade route going here pretty quick too. Which will help with loyalty. You did not end up conquering it, which we saw. We've got another city state over here in Babylon. I actually kind of feel like I almost want to take you this way. Mm, can we open border you? I'm going to pay. Just so that's a trade deal right now. Less likely uh, to be unhappy with me. Or hopefully he'll like me a little better because of that. Uh, we're going to start popping out um, probably another warrior at least. Yeah. I feel like we should build a warrior. We will sell off the olives. Make enough money then to buy another warrior. And then go for another settler. I think that's our goal. We want to be, like I said, as defensive as possible. I'm glad we went over to irrigation, because this is important right now. How's the religion? We're one turn behind. Most likely, they're all going to buy. The more important is the fact that no one else is close. Oh, hello. We found Poland. It's a big island. <laughs> So we got to buy up to this tile so we can put a harbor here. <laughs> we got to buy up that tile. Bergen's going to be facing some issues. Bergen's going to be facing some issues as the game progresses. So we, we also need money for that. He's not going to like me because we're going to settle next to him. But that's okay because our next city we won't settle next to him. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. He's going to hate us a little bit, but we'll be fine. We could go conquer him too, but screw that. I swear to God with these barbarians, man. Did they, like, crank the barbarians, or is it just me? I feel like they got cranked recently. These guys might be far enough away that we don't have to worry. We'll see. We'll see. Probably go use you to go kill this guy. Um, You need, what, one more turn? We're good to go. We are at 30 minutes, so we'll go a little bit longer. This is a positive aspect of trade, I suppose. This is a positive aspect of trade. Okay, next turn we got our city. You got this. Hi, buddy. Why are we unfriendly? Respect strong navies. Literally just started the freaking game, but whatever. Give me all your money, please. That's pretty decent. Yeah, that's pretty decent, actually. Okay. We really want to get uh, galleys as well. And I think we will go for sailing next so we can start popping out some galleys. It'll be next turn. We also could buy that trader out right away. Oof. Don't want another... We'll buy a trader first. I'm going to send the trader out. We got to get the trader out going. The trader out is going to make him like us as well. So it's just... These are all just super important right now. Early Empire is great. Um, gold from all trade outs. We don't need faith in capital out of our production. Yeah, and we're not going to actually build the navy. Probably. Maybe. Potentially. We'll see. I mean, we're not going to be able to build it for like another seven turns anyways, so. Okay. You. Uh, We're going to buy that tower right away. I don't care so much about that one. But I really just want to put a harbor there so we can culture bomb them. <laughs> uh, so all this will be my territory anyways as soon as we build a harbor. Yeah, it's going to be a crappy harbor. But sure, fine, perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. And you got that taken care of. Oh, we wanted mining, didn't we? So we can get extra production out. Yeah. 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 
I think I'd rather go up to Bergen because if there's a war, I would want to bring troops up this direction. Lisbon does want trade routes. But we'll probably go from uh, Utrecht down to Lisbon because it'll go through Amsterdam. I think that's how you say that. But please correct me if I'm wrong. The other thing is there's a very good chance that Norway and Poland end up at war with each other, which would be nice. And how many turns for this Golden Age? Yeah, it looks like we're going to get the Gold Age. Especially if we can get this religion. How long? 19 turns? 12 turns? 17 turns? It's potential. Aha! That's what we wanted to see. Poland declared war on Norway. Beautiful. Beautiful freaking full. Okay, good, 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 good. Everything is coming up fine. So we could... We could join Norway in this war and make him like me. When can you do joint war? It's further along, isn't it? It's an alliance. Where's my joint war? Is it... I never remember where the war is. Joint war. Where's this one at? After researching foreign trade. Foreign trade. Oh, we can joint war. Join ongoing war. Gotcha. So why can't I join your ongoing war? Because it's on this side. Alright. I was wondering if you'd pay me. I would totally take it. I don't really care because Poland... Because right now Norway's between us and Poland. So if I make him like me... That works. That works out well for us. So we need second settler. We're going to send you up here. And basically, I want to keep uh, troops over here on our border, just for protection. Yeah, we'll probably put a city over here. Are you Are you done? Are you ready? Let's get you over here. Ten turns. How can I get one more era score? A galley is going to get us era score. We don't have enough money for that. Hence my potential joint war. <laughs> or my desire for a joint war. You're knocking out sailing. We could get olives, but we already have olives. We could sell that off. I think I'd rather just get the stone here. Which is why I'd rather have mining. I'm really shocked you won't let me... Yeah, I don't know why he wouldn't want this. You feel like... He would be all okay with this. We could declare war on Poland too, but then we might get warmongering. I don't know if it would work out the way we want. We'll send you over here. This is fine. We also need... We're at 33 minutes. We need to end this. Norway got a great profit. So it's now down to us in Poland. So Norway just basically bought his way there. Uh, 650 gold, 450 gold. No one else is getting close. We're at 16 turns. Unfortunately, we have 9 turns left in this era. So, it's going to be next era where we get this. I'm going to have to Google real quick and find some early era scores. Like, I know some, but not all, not enough off the top of my head. I know sailing. I know getting a galley, getting the first ship does. Problem is, we don't have enough money. So, then let's get the olives. Okay. Because we can sell the olives off to Poland. And then that'll make us a decent cash. Hello. What a grand sight this must present in the wet sea. Interesting. Lots of culture, lots of faith. That would have been really good for us. <laughs> really good. That's a little unfortunate, but okay. Uh, I'm going to send you through Bergen. Might as well. We have open borders. Yeah, and then you're going to come up here. Okay, we're going to wrap this episode up. Oh, we found Natural Wonder. We're good. We're good. We don't have to buy the ship. So for now, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, uh, hit the like button. Uh, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next episode. We seem to be in a pretty good spot here. I think if we can get a city over here. I think we put one down here first. Man, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we want to throw one up here. Like here. The problem is we just told him we wouldn't settle near him. So that's why I think we should go down here because I don't really want to break the promise. I think we should go down there. Um, and then this area is going to start getting a lot of pressure from us. If he does put a city here, we're going to put another one there. Um, he'll probably end up getting one or two towns here, at least one in here, which is probably okay. Um, a river, we're on, we're on. And then, yeah, we we'll want to start putting our cities over here. The downside is this river down here isn't going to be particularly great for us. Long term, we might want to conquer Lisbon. 
We might want to conquer Lisbon. The problem is it's such a good civ for us. Or city state for us. Your chairs are immune. Eh, that one doesn't matter. But getting the extra gold is really nice. Also, how'd she get freaking that many envoys over there already? Dang. Dang. All right. Well, I'll see you guys next episode. Bye, everyone.